guys, it's you, Mum, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I've got my Doctor Who t-shirt on, so you can guess what this is. A review on Revolution of the Dance. Oh my god, I can clearly say now, I've never enjoyed a dance episode more than the episodes that aired today. Oh my god. So, we've had two lots of Daleks in this episode. The new ones, the BBC made, and then the classic Daleks as well. I feel like this was very good. Um, we also had Captain Jack back. Now that definitely adds an element. Him in Stormcage rescuing the Doctor. Now that is something I'll tell you. But my God, that was a jam-packed episode, all right? An hour and ten minutes. I mean... I was on the edge of my seat the whole time with this thing. I'm just saying I'm just saying this review as it is. I was on my seat the whole time with this episode. Like I was really enjoying it and I'm surprised it went down really well. I'm gonna check the viewing figures tomorrow, but my guess for viewing figures is five million views. But this episode was so intense i didn't think they would get it all done in the time they had you know the hour hour and 10 minutes i wasn't sure whether they would conclude it by the time by the time eight o'clock came around like i wasn't even sure whether that was going to be possible because it got to half an hour i was like there's no way they can conclude this in like 30 minutes turns out they could and not only that, we've also had two companion departures as well, Ryan and Graham. Yaz has decided to stay behind, which is kind of good because I really want to see the Doctor with one of the familiar companions. But, like, this episode, it's really intense. I mean, if you guys have watched it already, you know what I mean. I also thought I'd do one more video with, our, with my Doctor Who nativity and the Christmas wreath on my door before we all pack it away tomorrow because we're all packing the decorations away tomorrow. Because Christmas for us finishes on the 2nd of January, so yeah. But I feel like this... Now I've done reviews this year on series 12, but I wasn't expecting anything good for the specialist thought this is going to be an average special but the fact that that they use the reconnaissance starlet from revolution is brilliant they kind of they add that to the storyline and i feel like that was really intense and they also had one of the old villains return he was a go-between he was like he was a he was going to help the doctor and i was actually surprised about that because i didn't think he was i thought he was a baddie like robinson kind of helped save humanity and I was like really surprised and I thought it was really good like but yeah the theories that I said in my last video none of them much really came about I mean there was a couple that were true but they were just theories at the time they weren't actually going to happen and the fact that the term doctor returned that didn't happen at all but some of you thought that but now you but now you don't have to because you've actually watched the episode. We've been waiting over two weeks for this special. We've been waiting since the pandemic hit. We've been waiting for the pandemic since for the special. We've waited two weeks. For, we've waited over a week for after Christmas. We've waited over a week after Christmas to watch the special. And I can frankly say, this has hit the ground running. This has definitely hit the ground running for the new series that we know is coming out at some point in 2021 they haven't finished filming it yet so probably around autumn time it'll be coming out but like this i feel like this special has hit the ground running now so because this special is so good we know the next series is going to be so good like we know that the next series is going to be particularly good um so we know that because this episode has hit the ground running we're expecting things like weeping angels to return ood the silence i was actually surprised to see that because a lot of you guys guessed the villains that would be in storm cage with the doctor so you know 
there was a weeping angel in the case you looked in, a pating. I'm not sure we'll see that returning, but if we do, that'll be funny. We also saw the oud and the silence as well, so I think that is all very good. Um, so yeah, I feel like we definitely want to see the Weeping Angels back in the new series. Like I feel like that's hit the ground running for classic villains returning. And I also like the fact that they used that they had that massive Dalek fight on the cliff suspension bridge. Like the gold Daleks fighting the new Daleks. I like the fact that the Doctor was kind of subtle with it and used it. I'm just looking at my Christmas tree and I just and I forgot I put sonic screwdrivers inside it. That's gonna be fun taking them all out tomorrow. It's gonna be fun taking them all out. Anyway, like I was saying, a lot of the old villains you see in Storm Cage, I've got a feeling are going to make a reappearance, are going to reappear on our screens. Whether it's next season or the season after, I have a tad feeling that um we're going to see a lot of those villains returning to our screen in Doctor Who. I also want to see Jack back a lot in the next series. I'm not sure if he is going to come back. But he might do. He might make a reappearance in another special episode or something. I also want to see the Temp Doctor return as well. I think it'd be really good. Although they're probably saying that for the 60th. Sorry. I didn't realise that draw. Has that draw been open the whole time I've been filming this video? Um... But yeah, that special is really good. I've literally got nothing to say about it. It was all very good. I mean, there was a lot of action. Although the only bit I'm going to say is the first bit, the beginning. That was a bit random, just two people talking in a van. I thought that was a bit slow. I didn't feel like that set the Doctor Who episode at all. I didn't feel like it set the tone of the story. I mean, you see the reconnaissance Dalek which then sets the tone of the story. You see that when that the reconnaissance Daleks in the van, as you know, um, has set the tone for the story. But what the first like 10 seconds or 20 seconds, I don't even know how long that bit was, was um, like just two people talking randomly. And I feel like that didn't set the tone. What you needed to set the tone was to know what they were talking about. They weren't talking about anything specific, these people. So that's the only bad bit I've got to say about it. But apart from that oh, strange beginning, it was very good. All of it very positive. I liked the reconnaissance Dalek storyline to it. I liked the fact that the Doctor summoned the other Daleks to destroy the impure ones, you know. Kind of started out, you know strange but i generally think that this is the best dalek episode yet like this had so much kind of raw emotion and so much battle in it that i feel like you can't go wrong with a dalek storyline like this and hands up to chris chipnell you did an amazing job on this storyline and i hope you will continue to do a great job on doctor who because i've always felt that since you took over your first season wasn't that good with the 13th Doctor, so I now have high hopes for you, Christian Null. Um, everyone, um, everyone who goes on my Twitter, make sure you use the hashtag Chris Chipnall is the best Doctor Who screenwriter because I hope you guys have a better view of him now you've seen this Dalek episode because Revolution didn't really do it for me, but Revolution of the Daleks did, and I'm really happy to see what the next season brings the next season is an eight part episode it's an eight episode season because of obviously the pandemic and stuff so yeah but i'm excited to see what the next season does and like always i will do a review on each episode every week there's eight weeks because there's eight episodes they air each week, so that'll be eight weeks. So over those eight weeks, I will do a review on each episode for you. And I hopefully you guys will enjoy because those ten episodes were ten weeks. That was two months and three weeks, so. But yeah, I've got 
nothing bad to say about it. And the doc and BBC Doctor have just uploaded something on their Twitter. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here because I don't want to make this video too long. So I hope you enjoyed the Dalek episode and if I had to and the score out of ten for this episode is ten. I've literally got nothing bad to say about it. Um nine and a half if I count the beginning, but I'm not going to because the beginning didn't last very long, so I'm gonna give it a full ten out of ten. Well done. If you've never seen my face on the screens before, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to get notifications every single time I upload. Alonzi!